Hello and welcome back friend. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am here with a new mock-up. As usual, today's topic is very easy and we will use very simple tricks to make it interesting for you all. So without any further ado, let's begin. At the very first move, we will select a quick selection tool and then we will zoom in in the picture by pressing Ctrl plus from the keyboard. In this quick selection tool, we will select the plus tool and as you do, you will see the excess part has been selected. And once you have selected the necessary part, you go back and press the minus tool. And when you do that, you will see that the excess part or uh, the part that was not necessary for our mockup has been deselected. Like this, with this plus and minus button, we will select our object completely. And this is a new trick for you all. So if you want, you can rewatch it. So as you can see, the object has been selected completely. Now we'll press Ctrl J and we'll copy this layer. Just of the selection, all right. Now we will take a rectangle and draw a rectangle on top of the bandana. Now right click on the rectangle and you'll convert it to a smart object. Now we'll press Ctrl T and then again right clicking on it we will select the option wrap. Then from here we'll select the option that's written as urge. As you can see that makes the whole rectangle arc a little bit. Now by again pressing Ctrl T we will place it in the proper area like that covers the bandana and everything all right that's our main motto now placing this uh, smart object on top of everything we will right click on it and then we'll select the option that says create clipping mask make sure this is a very very important step and you do not miss it and please do not forget to save this image because if you don't this won't be updated in the main uh, project all right so Make sure after you are satisfied with the editing of your smart object or position of it, you always save the image. And once you do, your image would be updated in the main picture also. So as you can see, it has updated in the main picture. Again, we will press Ctrl J and make another copy of it. But this time, we will make this copy two more times because this is gonna work as our light and shadow and mid tone. So there would be t total three copies. And once you have created all the copies, we will switch off the two layers, light and mid tone. Then we will convert the shadow. We will convert it to linear burn. Alright. And then we will go to light and linear dodge add. And then we will press Ctrl L. And then adjust the levels here uh, and then once you are satisfied you see how the lighting and everything works out for you and then the uh, last level we will change it to screen again by pressing ctrl l you will adjust the levels and make sure that they are fine now as you can see with very easy steps we have created this tiny mock-up and um, which is a very personalized object you can make it for yourself also um, and just because it's easier for us to understand we will color these layers that these are the editable parts and everything and that's all thanks for watching and if you want to support us don't forget to press the like button and hit the subscription button because we come up with new videos almost every week thank you so much for your support and kindness